everyone, and welcome to another Sunday Afternoon Craft with me, James. And how are you? That's right, you can say, I'm fine, thank you. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. All right, so this time I'll sing Hello, How Are You? And you can sing I'm Fine. All right, here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? All right, very good. All right, so this time, can you sing Hello, How Are You? And I'll sing I'm Fine. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Hello. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, let's do it one more time. Everyone together. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. All right, so today is December 6th. So it's St. Nicholas Day. It's the Feast of St. Nicholas, otherwise known as Santa Claus. So today, we're going to be making hand print Santa Clauses. So what you'll need for this craft is the template, which you can find at myteddyandfriends.com in the craft section. You'll need your trusty glue stick, some scissors, and someone old enough to use them. Some crayons, and someone young enough to use them. And a pencil. All right, so let's get started, shall we? All right, so here we are. So as I said before, today we're going to make a hand print Santa Claus. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace our hand. So, on this blank side of the page here, you can put your hand down. Now, for this craft, uh, we don't need our fingers to be spread way apart. I mean, you can if you want, I suppose. But they can be, they can be close together. And try and get your thumb out. And make sure you're not covering up any of the stuff over here. Alright. And just trace around. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. All right, and you don't have to go all the way to the end here. We can just kind of go down to your knuckles is probably enough. And where is Tall Boy? Here I am. And all the way around Ring Girl. And up around baby, right back up to the top. And now once you've done that, there's a little space here. So we can just make a curved line and join those up. Just like that. Alright. And now it's time to color. So, um, first thing I'm going to color, I think I'll color just here and uh, I'm just going to color up to where the thumb meets the hand and I'm going to color this red there we go. Here's my red. so first I'm going to draw a line just from where that thumb ends here across and then I'll trace all the way around around my line. If I go over the edge it's okay because we're going to cut this out. 
but it's always a good idea to practice trying to stay inside the lines. It'll help you when you learn to write. Alright. So what do you suppose this is going to end up being? I'll give you a hint. It's not Santa's thumb. And fill it in around and around. Around and around we go. And so then I'm going to do these little parts over here and I think since I've got the red out I will start with the nose. Who's got a big red cherry nose? Santa! Santa's got a big red cherry nose. Who laughs this way? Ho ho ho! Maybe some a red lip down here. Santa laughs this way, ho, 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 cherry nose, must be Santa, must be Santa, must be Santa, Santa Claus. All right. In the poem, The Night Before Christmas, it says that Santa has cheeks like a rose. So these are his cheeks here, so I'm going to color those in pink give my Santa pink cheeks. Now of course as usual if you want to do something different and you want to have different colored cheeks you're always welcome to change the colors. Alright and there we go and I'll color his tongue in pink too. There we go. Okay and then the last thing to color before we start cutting things out are his eyes. I think I'm going to give Santa some brown eyes because Santa grew up in Myra which is where Turkey is today so I think he probably had brown eyes. Now again if you want to give Santa different colored eyes you can go ahead and do that. I don't think Santa would mind. I know if somebody drew a picture of me and they gave me a different colored eyes, I wouldn't mind at all. So there we go. All right. And now we're ready to cut things out. So, as usual, we'll sit up so we're nice and stable. <clears throat> and I think I'll cut out these small pieces first so that I have lots of paper that I can hold on to and keep my fingers really far away. So I'll start with the eyes. And I'll just cut from the edge and just turning the page. Nice, small, slow cuts. As I go, I just turn the page and I want to make sure I know where my fingers are all the time so I don't pinch myself with the scissors. Alright, there's one eye and we'll do the other eye. And nice small slow cuts, just turning the page a little bit as we go, making sure we're lined up. There we go. There's two eyes. And then this here is a pom pom at the top of his hat. That out next, and I'll start over here. 
And I'm not going to worry, it's a little bit frilly, so I'm just going to cut just around the edge. I'm not going to cut too close. And just like the eyes, we're just turning the page as we go. Make sure you know where your fingers are. I'm just grabbing it by the edge here so that I can cut all the way around. I'm just going to cut off that edge and then I can trim it down holding it by the edge again. There we go. And there's Santa's pom pom. Alright. And this is going to be the bottom of Santa's hat. And we'll just cut around the edge. Again, it's kind of got some rough edges, so we're, we're not going to worry about that too much. Just cut close to the line, but not, not quite on top of it. And this is a bit tricky. Just make sure you know where your fingers are, so you don't get pinched. And right out, and I'm just going to cut right out to the edge. So I can hold that and cut off this last little bit. I can just trim it off just like that. And there we go. That's the fur for the bottom of his hat. Okay. And next I guess I'll do his mouth and his cheeks and his mustache. Once I get into this corner here, I just turn until I can see the line, and then I can cut down and around his lip. And same thing here. I'm just going to turn it until I can see all of the mustache. And I don't have to cut too close to the mustache, um, because just like the fur, it's got lots of edges, so that's okay. And then up around his rosy cheeks. I'm just going to check, make sure I know where my fingers are. Keep them out of the way. And around that big red cherry nose. And around the second cheek. And there we go. And then I can just trim that off. And there we go. Santa's mouth and mustache and nose and cheeks. All right, and now the next part to cut out is our handprint. And so, cut from the edge, and then this is a nice straight line. Might be a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. And then once we get to the tip of the finger, we can just turn the page ever so slightly, and we can cut down into the finger just until we meet that other line on the other side. And then you can turn your page and line up your scissors and then cut back out. Same thing here, I'm just going to turn my page until, it's a little bit hard to see, isn't it? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to cut off that finger. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start at the edge here and cut back in until I meet that line. There we go. That's a little easier. And then around the next finger. Um, tall boy there. And then I'll start from the edge here. And cut right into them until I meet the other line. And then around the pointer.
thumb, I'll just turn that page and cut, cut, cut. And nice slow cuts around those corners. And then we can just cut, cut, cut. Right out to the edge. And then I'll trim off this last little piece here. And there we go. We're ready to glue. <clears throat> okay. So, first I'm going to take this this fur that goes on the bottom of his hat, and that's going to go right down here. And we don't want it to be too low, so you can just put that up so it's just around the thumb. Now I imagine that your hands are probably a little bit smaller than mine, which is great. So if this sticks over the edge a little bit, don't be worried too much, because that's okay. It'll just be sticking over the edge a little bit. But for me, it fits right across, so... It doesn't matter, you could put it either way. Uh, but I'm going to do it this way. Alright. And there we go. And then the next thing we can do is the pom pom. And the pom pom is just going to go on the tip, very tip of the thumb. Just like that. And then next I'll do the eyes. And you can do the eyes all kinds of crazy ways, but I'm going to put one eye over here. And these come just underneath the fur. Just like that. There's one eye. And another eye. Alright, it's coming together. But it looks a little bit like a ghost, so I think that this Santa needs a mouth. So next we'll put some glue on these cheeks, and the mustache, and the mouth, and the nose. And... Doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as it's get your nose between the eyes. All right, and now I want to color this last little bit in, so I'll put the cap back on my glue so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to grab another piece of scrap paper. I've already used one side of it, and I'm going to put it underneath just in case I go over the edges a little bit. And I think. For a good skin color, I think I'll use orange. Um, and I won't color under the mustache because that's where his beard is. And I'll just color just here. And I'm just going to color lightly. I don't want to have a dark orange Santa. And of course, as usual, you can use any color you like. If you'd rather have a pink Santa, or a red Santa, or a purple Santa. Maybe Santa's really, really cold. <laughs> and we'll just nice and slow around the edges. And there we go. Handprint Santa. Ho, 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 ho. And there we go. We've got Handprint Santa. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft, and if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Um, I've got some Santa Claus songs and stories over on Facebook on Babylon Kids uh, in the video section, and there's another one on Instagram uh, in my IGTV. 
So uh, the links for those are down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And we'll see you next time. Well, I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, goodbye. You can say goodbye, goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, goodbye. You can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye everybody, see you next time.